Hello. I am watching Juno. Oh, Juno has spots. Um, I get a huge kick out of your description of this horse being for your mom. But your mom says that she's too old for this shit and got a nice little horse. I also ride something that we thought was going to be this nice little sweet dumpling of a horse for my mom. It's got like a hell of a lot of juice. It's a good egg, but it's a really, really good athlete. I'm like, there's worse things than stealing horses from your mother as an adult. It's cool. So Juno is a draft cross and her base of neck is very substantial. Her throat latch is very substantial and she is not like the most uphill thing in the history of the universe, which means that on the bit, there's, when you ride her on the bit, there's going to be a chance that you put her on her forehand. And, and so in an attempt to ride her uphill, she's a little bit not on the bit. I think you're going to just have to tap dance around that for a while. I think that in order to really learn how to carry herself, there's going to be some moments where you have to put that neck too low and too round. Um, because not on the bit is cool. Like, it's great. It's a lot easier to carry yourself when you're not using any of your back muscles whatsoever and you're just sort of allowing your skeleton to do the work. But that does not work long term. That doesn't get you far beyond where you are now and this looks like a darling creature so hell man keep going ask a little more of her and and you're gonna do that by pushing the bit down into her bottom jaw and saying hey you've got to be round you've got to yield your pull and you got to yield your top line and then you put her in the shape that you want and then you give and then she falls apart and then you do it again and then you do it again and then you do it again until you die uh or until one day you give and she doesn't fall apart and that's how that goes, you know, you got to kind of walk through the valley of the shadow of death for a while in order to create simultaneous roundness and uphill tending self-carriage simultaneously. You're going to get one and then you're going to get the other and then you're going to get the one and then you're going to get the other and then you're going to eventually be able to get them both, but not today, not tomorrow either. And that's okay. Oh, she's so cute. Cute, cute, cute. She's got a really good active hind leg. Yeah, man, you know, some of these draft crosses end up assembled by committee where they've got funny little parts of both. But for the most part, they're just freaking wonderful. You know, they're great size and a little more stamina because of the thoroughbred influence. Oh, good job. Very fancy. Grand Prix jumper, here we come. Yeah, this is pleasant. It's lovely. And and you will you can show this training level right now and it'll be fine. You'll get your, you know, 62 to 65. But but there is more. 62 to 65 is nice, but ultimately not all that satisfying when there's sevens and eights to be had and there's certainly no reason why a horse who bends or hawks well oops i can't see a distance either juno don't worry i think that she needs a lot of transitions i think she needs to load those hind legs and i think that you're allowed to you're allowed to keep the contact a little bit more i hope this works my phone rang in the middle of recording this so okay doing some more trot pulls. I like the trot pulls. I think the trot pulls are great for everyone. I think that they improve dexterity and balance and all good things. But for me, this is like too many long straight lines, even with the pulls. I think I'd be doing a lot more transitions for this horse. I think I'd be challenging her body and her balance a little more than just these nice, big, open, slopey lines. And I also think there's no reason that you couldn't put more pulls together. I know she's six and, and, you know, isn't like super far down the path of greatness, but she can do four Cavaletti on the ground in a row. If that causes her legs to fall off, then her legs are going to fall off anyway. Come on, keep the energy coming. And this is also hard too with, with a, you know, sort of a heavier style horse is that sometimes when you add gas, they get a little bit scurrying instead of loftier um but I think she's got to have just a little bit more a little bit more push from behind
you know, she tracks up nicely. There's, there's no reason not to raise the bar for her. It, I'm waiting for some canter. Too much trotting around. I know you say that she's, she's hot and inattentive. I, I don't see that. I, I see a perfectly pleasant animal. So either you're a really good runner or maybe she's talked you into thinking that she's hairier and scarier than, than she is. Cause I'm going, yeah, like, yeah, I go to work. Okay. Oh, we spooked. Well, life went on. And even there, like, yeah, she spooked a little bit. She surged on a little bit. Give her something else to do. Leg yield. Use that energy. Honestly, her surging off kind of went to a trot that I wouldn't have minded. Good. Come on. Gotta go. Yep. Let's canter. I think it's coming. Maybe. Go, mama. That's a better trot there. You're a little bit more assertive with your connection. There we go. Oh, she's got a darling canner. Yeah, you can steal this one from mom. But come on. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. Yeah, and, and you know, for sure, part of the reason that she's not on the bit is because being on the bit is hard and this is new for her. But I think you've also got not enough jump into the bridle to make her round. You can pull her head down, but unless you add a little more gumption from behind, there's just not enough energy flowing from back to front. And it's lovely. Sometimes these draft crosses can really thunder along in the canter, um, you know, and pull with their front ends, and it's this sort of scrambled mess. She's not like that. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah, the trot that she fell into, that's the trot you want. That has the right amount of go. Go, 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 go. And, and if you feel like she falls out of balance very easily, then maybe you put in a little sideways. You know, maybe you leg yield into your canter transition or you canter trot and then immediately leg yield so that the hind legs are always coming under the body. If she's, if she's quick to fall out of balance, which I don't really see here, um, but I can believe is a possibility. Use some sideways, use some crossing in and out with those hind legs to help you get the job done. Come on, girl, too much trotting around. There you go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, that lacked commitment. You're allowed to tell her what to do, particularly if she is a mare who's a little bit of a, of a, I don't have time to listen to you kind of mare. Give her more stuff to do. Occupy her thoughts more. Give her more exercises. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yep, needs more giddy up. Good girl. That's getting better. Yeah, and there, sure enough, when you add more gas and keep a little bit more contact, yeah, sometimes she gets a little bit, a little bit forebeat because she loses her balance. But she's rounder. She's more on the bit because there's more push going from bridle uh, from excuse me from hind legs to bridle good girl yeah you got to raise the bar on your expectations of this horse she's six years old she's more than capable of walking and trotting and cantering on the bit and for sure like she's going to have some challenges that the average warm blood or the average thoroughbred might not you know that neck that that short neck and that thicker throat latch is not going to be like the most straightforward thing to tackle over the course of this horse's career, but they've all got something. They've all got something that's imperfect about them. If they don't have anything physically imperfect, then the imperfect thing is the price tag. So dig in. The sooner you take it on, the sooner you'll find the answer. There we go. Yeah, and it's cool that like by the end, she starts to yield her neck on her own, but you're allowed to tell her to yield it earlier. You're allowed to set that bar higher earlier ah she looks prime and ready for the next phase of her life so it's time to enter it start asking her some questions good luck make her into something that mom's gonna want back 